The reverse elastico. What a skill move, man. One of my favorite skill moves in any previous year. And yet again in the AFC 24 alongside the elastico itself. Let's break down how, where, and when to perform it. The elastic code, use the right end long stick. You want to enter into the left of where the player is facing, and then you want to rotate around to the back of him. Now I say to where the player is facing, because that is super important. The best place to perform the reverse elastic code, in my opinion, is in the midfield and inside the box. Now the reason why I recommend in the midfield, whereas I didn't recommend using the elastic code itself in the midfield and only in the bots, is simply because the reverse elastic code keeps it in tighter to the attacker. It doesn't go out in front of them too far whereas with the elastic co it does so it's not so useful in the midfield because your midfielders of the opponent will pounce on you but the best thing about the reverse elastic co is if there's any space to the right of the play and we're talking about a right footer here then you can take it towards that space with the reverse elastic co away from the pressure of the opponent and as we know as you've learned on this channel Taking the ball away from the pressure is one of the most important aspects of keeping possession. It's the same with skill moves. The reverse elastico allows you to do that. And of course in the bots, specifically when you're standing still, it's very effective, very quick, and it's very nippy. It's hard for the opponent to tackle. So it's very good and useful inside the bots. So the best time to use this is similar to the elastico. It's around that one meter in-game radius away from the defender. Or when you're wanting to take the ball to the right of the right footer into the available space. And at the time when you want to create a shooting angle in the bots, it's so effective, but you must ensure that the space is open to the right of the right footer before performing the reverse elastico to that space, because if it's to the left, then maybe it would be smarter to perform an elastico instead of the reverse elastico, because it would take it into the space towards the left of the attacker and away from the defender. So there you have it, a guide, short but sweet one, on how to perform the reverse elastico in EAFC 24. If you want to be a part of my coaching academy, be a part of the monthly coaching classes, get access to me to ask me anything, one-on-one -on -one coaching, or be in the academy where you can actually request personalized tutorials to get uploaded to the Patreon directly from me. Then check it out, the link is down below for patreon.com. But as always, I hope you guys have a good day. I'm out, sayonara, au revoir, adios, salam, ciao. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre gaming fuel or supplement, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code DILLANETSATP at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys. So thank you.